more there's coming. more and more coming and they're attracting people from here coming here driving here Chicago's hotel industry is looking for solutions to help migrants get work. But at one downtown hotel, neighbors say they've seen nothing but problems. Kia Ewing went to see for herself. This is one of the last known locations that migrants were calling home temporarily. The inn of Chicago right here off of O'Hare and St. Clair. And it's come with a really costly stay, over $60 million in state funding. And as of right now, there's a push to actually get these asylum seekers jobs. And they could be getting employment right here at this hotel. This is the legislation first introduced in February of 2023, proposing that an asylum seeker would be able to work in 30 days. Right now, the legal process is in several months to get employment in the U.S. Right now, a lot of them want to work, but they have to wait six to nine months just to get approval to work. Michael Jacobson is the president and CEO of the Illinois Hotel and Lodging Association. He was recently in D.C. advocating for the bill. It would minimize the burden on employers during a historic labor shortage, including the hotel and industry. We have 1,600 open positions in hotels just in the city of Chicago today, and we have thousands of migrants looking to work. But neighbors say here at Inn of Chicago, there's a big problem with the work some migrants are already doing. They're hanging yeah. out on the sidewalks. They're hanging out in the alleys. Uh, people have been solicited, uh, including myself. Uh, solicited for what? prostitution. Yes. We're just going to keep it real. We reached out to Governor Pritzker's office to see how much the hotel stays are costing the state. Governor Pritzker's office says there were over 2,000 migrants sheltering in 12 hotels as of April 25th. 98% of those people moved to independent housing. In January, $90 million from the Illinois General Assembly was helping to provide care for the migrants, including many in Chicago. Over $60 million of that was used for hotel shelter services, including staffing and rooms. We did reach back out to the governor's office to get clarification on if all the migrants moved out of the hotels and didn't get an answer. And of Chicago's website says they are temporarily closed until July of 2023. Residents say they hope something changes soon. So the police can't do anything about it because the lady there was telling me when the police come in, they can't arrest them because they have no documentation. The state of Illinois has spent over $150 million to assist asylum seekers since August of 2022. Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago.